I kind of felt attached to the institution before I even set foot on campus uh, because I, I I'd read a lot about Elon, I'd read a lot about what the institution was doing and just felt that it ref the mission of this place reflects my own values and, and thoughts about what higher education should ideally be about. And, um, and I feel like it's an enormous privilege to be here and, uh, and to have such great colleagues and such great students. And um, I still feel that way after 10 years. He was one of us from day one. You didn't know that he was up in New York State and Wisconsin and that sort of thing. He was one of us. And that pre uh, really pleased me very greatly. He saw what we had at Elon, and he had a vision for being one of the top small universities in the nation. I, I just couldn't quite visualize mm -hmm. Elon being number one in the country. I mean, there are 4,000 institutions in the country. And, and though I could see us being good, I just really couldn't quite see it that good until after he'd been here a little while. And then I began to see this man has a vision. Now, if I were to consider myself as president, I considered myself a doer. I considered Fred Young to be a thinker. Here is a new president who is a thinker and a planner and a doer. It's all of these put together. Elon is, I think, really on the cusp of a national reputation. Mm -hmm. We're on the national radar screen right now. Uh, but I don't think that we have um, really arrived at a point of, of having achieved truly a national reputation. Mm -hmm. He has a vision for the institution. Um, that is important. He never loses sight of the vision. But he involves all of these other people in making the plans for the growth and development of the institution. And that is, that is extremely important. A lot of people shape Elon University, not just the president. Uh, trustees do, faculty do, students do, staff do, philanthropists do. And I think it's really important for a person coming into a culture like this to understand that, that you know, it's not a one-man band, uh, that it's not all about the president, and uh, that there are a lot of constituencies that are really important that need to be listened to and don't get me wrong presidential leadership is really important I think it's critical but the leadership of other people is critical as well and trying to keep um, everybody rowing in the same direction <laughs> is really important. He came to us already rated as one of the top young educators in the nation. I've seen a lot of presidents and worked with a lot of presidents here and elsewhere. And I have to tell you that among all of them, he stands right at the top. Our commitment to preparing our students for a lifetime of learning through the liberal arts and a lifetime of service mm -hmm. would be the two aspects of, the, um, of our mission that are most important to me. Uh, a couple of years ago, I had a ruptured appendix, and I was in the hospital 12 days. He came. He came and said, I'll put up here. That's special. I knew he had 411 things to be doing. He was there. So he's, he's such a humane human being. There is a warm feeling of affection for this really great person who turns out to be a great leader mm -hmm. and who means so much to us. Mm -hmm. And I fervently hope he'll be here a long time.